As I sit in the dappled sunlight of the cherry blossom tree, two black ants crawl up my crossed legs. I have nothing to offer them. My body cannot provide them food or water or shelter. Each time I lead them back into the grass, they crawl through and around and on top of the towering blades to find me again. And their presence makes me feel chosen. Robins populate the trees, the bushes, the grass. Unlike the ants, they keep a careful distance, never too close to a stranger, but never too far from a friend. Their music fills the sky with song. How often do we take the time to listen? The trees are dancing all the time, but we never look. Even the immovable trunk must have the ability to give and sway with the unchangeable force of the wind. Our towering skyscrapers of imposing steel incorporate these physics, bending to the will of the earth so as not to snap under the pressure. We take the wisdom of the earth to make technological advancements that will destroy the source of all we know. Frank Lloyd Wright believed that our dwelling spaces should live in harmony with the natural world they inhabit. The longer I live here, the more this environment envelops me. The ants keep coming back. The robin inches closer. The fuzzy bottomed bumblebee races around my head. I nestle my toes into the grass, sink my heels into the soft soil. A squirrel crawls by in its search for sustenance. The grass is so willing to embrace us, to provide a soft seat or a gentle bed. The mud that squelches between our toes will soothe our sensitive skin. The tree will bear the weight of your aching body. The sun will nourish you with vitamins you crave. The falling cherry blossom petals will sustain a pressing so you can keep their color long after the blossoms have passed. Mother Earth is so willing to give, and we are so willing to take, to take for granted all that we are given. If only we could appreciate the miracle of the wind, the trees, the ants, the robin, the bumblebee, the grass, the squirrel, the blossoms, the soil, the mud, the sun. We would forget our machinations and sense the vibrations of our souls singing in harmony with the song of the earth. <laughs>